Hello traders, FS Percoletti here. Today is Friday, May 17th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the dollar yen, I mean, it still looks to me like five waves up. It still looks like we are possibly in a wave five. Definitely no evidence of this wave five being over yet, and there's always a chance that it could potentially just keep on trending up. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, I mean, to me, it still looks like this trend is not over. It still looks like a one, two, three. Kind of looks like we should be in a wave four and it potentially should go back up again for a wave five, taking out the previous highs and making a one, two, three, four, five of wave five potentially. So heading down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, definitely for me, I am always buying the dips on the yen pairs especially. These yen pairs have been in a four year uptrend and buying the dip is pretty much always a good strategy. I mean, to me, this is very likely I've been saying that it possibly is a wave A and this possibly could be a wave B and then it could go down again for a wave C. But it really doesn't have to do that. It potentially could just keep on going up and this just could be a one, two, three, four, and we could already be in that wave five. I personally would still be looking for longs unless you have a lot of evidence that it really is going down. Heading down to the four hour time frame, I actually think, which is easier to see on the one hour, that this, I would always label it as an A or one, even though I think it could be a wave one. I think this right here is a big cretin, like a wave B or two. I think we're going up for a wave C or three. So if it does go up, and once it breaks these highs, you put your Fibonacci retracement from here to here, and if it does bounce from a fib level, make a big engulfing move, make a break of structure, that would, is what would tell me that we're looking at a wave C, and that's what would turn me into a seller, because at that point I would know we are looking at an A, B, C, or B, and it would be time to go sort for the wave C. But I would have to see the break of structure, a nice impulsive and golfing move to the downside, at a Fibonacci retracement level, because I do suspect that it may just keep on trending up, making those higher highs and higher lows. Heading right down to the one hour time frame, I do think that either scenario it is going to go up and break these highs, so I definitely would be looking for longs. I mean, it definitely will be some pullbacks along the way. It could even possibly go down and break Strutzer before it keeps on going up. But I personally am definitely only looking for longs, and I'm definitely only going to go long at the end of these pullbacks, especially on these sort of time frames. Like I was explaining on the full hour, we should either be in a wave three or a wave C right now. And if you pay attention to Strutzer, pay attention to price, pay attention to your fib levels, you you definitely should be able to tell the difference between a wave three and a wave C if you know how to read the markets. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. It's a link down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to all the daily live trading sessions. And it gives you access to all my swing trade setups that I say with the group at the time of entry by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.